America to your Caribou Data Science channel. Okay. And again, America, thanks so much for stopping by. If you are watching this video on YouTube today, I'd appreciate it if you would click on the like button underneath the video. Okay. Okay, that's for the, for, so for the previous 365 days, the U.S. has had 48.5 million cases, 438,274 deaths. You can see, unfortunately, uh, well, if there's any slight good news, it's like we had that uh, January's 2020 cases have not passed the total cases for 2021. Uh, but unfortunately, the first quarter of 2022 is the, now the, the quarter with the most cases of every quarter during the previous five quarters, okay? And again, you can see January 22 what was the most number of cases for any month, any single month, than your previous 12 months. Weekly cases as expected. Okay. What about uh, daily cases? Okay. Well, you can see daily cases are, are bouncing around. On January 31st, we had 608,201 deaths. Uh, cases, I mean, with an average of 523,498.9 cases per day on average. I just mentioned that unfortunately, we had the January marked the second year anniversary of the first case of COVID-19 being uh, diagnosed, being recognized in America. Okay, the, the anniversary, unfortunately, for the second anniversary for the first death is sometime in February. Okay, so we so it's not something you actually want to really keep. Actually, I think the first case, yeah, uh, the first case was the last, the first death in the U.S. from COVID-19. Was recorded on the on the last week of February of 2020. Okay. So let's take a look at deaths now. The good news is the deaths are not uh, for January have not caught 2021's yearly deaths. Uh, well, you know, there's, there's I'd say there's a pretty good chance that uh, the fourth quarter, the, the first quarter of, of 2022, at some point become the quarter with the most number of deaths of any quarter of the previous five quarters. Okay. Uh, monthly deaths are the third most deaths in January was, or maybe even the second month. You can see the big spike up here. Okay, we had we had Delta here, and then Omicron back over here. It looks like for deaths. And what's this number here now? Well, it's January 31st. The U.S. had 2,442 deaths on a single day, with an average of 2,084 deaths per day. Now the question is this, for every 100,000 people, roughly how many people currently have COVID-19? Well, the answer is on average about 100, which means on average per capita, well, we're less than 1,000, because if this number is all the way down to here, so this means uh, per capita, roughly one one thousandth of a person has COVID-19, okay, cases. What about deaths? We can see here on average about, uh, well, let's just round it up to say eight tenths of a person. For every 100,000 people in the, in the U.S., roughly eight tenths of a person is dying from COVID-19. What about per cap? What about COVID-19 deaths per capita? I don't even know what what all these zeros mean. That, that's that's too many zeros for me. But anyway, so this does conclude the report for the state of Ohio for the, for the U.S. for today. This also con concludes all of our reports for today. Thanks so much for spending some time in. Thanks again, Baba, Baba Jack, for, for, for stopping in and saying hi. Good luck with that SQL Python and that data analytics, okay? Thanks so much for your time again, folks. We will see you tomorrow. We'll see you back here at 8 p.m. this evening, okay?